After serving as a Speaker of the House of the New Hampshire House of Representatives, Pierce was elected to the United States House of Representatives in 1832, establishing a successful political career all before turning 30. He was then elected to the Senate before serving as a Brigadier General in the Mexican War. Pierce began his presidency emotionally devastated as his youngest son, Benny, was tragically killed in a train wreck just weeks before his inauguration. Pierce and his wife, Jane, witnessed the accident and it was one of many tragedies that Pierce had to endure during his lifetime. Pierce had three sons, but all three passed away before Pierce was sworn into office. The presidency of Franklin Pierce was largely unsuccessful. Although he oversaw the Gadsden Purchase, which makes up part of modern-day Arizona and New Mexico, his presidency is most remembered for the Kansas and Nebraska Act. The act repealed the Missouri Compromise and once again brought up the issue of slavery in the West. The march towards the Civil War intensified following the signing of the act and led to the violence which is now known as Bleeding Kansas 